massive effect, psychologically speaking, on our median population. So, in addition to the anticipated increase in your uh, routine robberies, batteries, assaults, and generally suicidal behaviors, let's be aware that shoppers also provide a particularly vulnerable target for scenarios with a more seasonal flavor. For instance, the Airzats Salvation Army Bucket. <laughs> Or the snatching set. <laughs> Item 10, also coincidentally pertaining to matters of a holiday nature, the winner of our Thanksgiving turkey raffle, courtesy of Wisniewski's poultry, is Andy Renko. <laughs> Pick up your bird this afternoon. I'd like to pick up your bird. Oh, I heard that message. <laughs> Item 11 the undercover operation in Waverly Alley concerning fraudulent auto related personal injury claims appears to be ripening to a fruitful conclusion. Officer Belker, excuse me, Detective Belker. Aided by detectives LaRue and Washington, will stage a bipartisan raid in the middle part of the afternoon to serve arrest and search warrants. Uniform officers assisting will be our transfers from Midtown, Kozicki, and Nichols. Uh, uh, item 12, the last item, people. Requiem services for Detective Stanley Mizell will be conducted this morning at Veterans Memorial Park. Your attendance is requested, but for the following, who will remain on call? Bates, Belker, Coffey, Hingle, Ellis, LaRue, Tubbs, Washington, Nichols, and Kozicki. It's a real shame we're going to miss it. As regards dress for said occasion, uh, though formal wear is not compulsory, consider, if you will, the appropriate dignity and respect to be afforded the surviving members of the family. Which is a lot more than Stan ever did. An addendum to that. Uh, Officer Schnitz informs me that uh, contributions to date to the Stan Mizell Memorial Fund total a paltry $78.13. Setting aside for the moment any and all subjective sentiments one may have held with regards to the decedent, the particular issue in question here is the continued care for and future education of a slain fellow officer's children. And I find the current level of donations disappointing in the extremists. All right, that's it. Let's roll. And let's be careful out there. Lord Bobby Hill, oh, you can't you want to take it? your body any faster oh. than that. How are we supposed to deal with any situation that might require our presence above the mezzanine level? Oh, Franco, I've been shot, stabbed, beat up, kicked, left for dead, and I swear nothing, nothing is as bad as this is. Look, just use this phone here and call the doctor. Do me a favor. Yeah, I got to I gotta call my doctor. Yo, Leo. Look at that number. Move that Mizell well thing up. Perry. It's right around the corner now. Uh, five Perry. bucks for Mizell's kids. Five, 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 four, eight, seven, one. Uh, yeah, I'd like to make an appointment with Dr. Perry. Hey, Bobby, you all right, Beck? All right. This poor man has an eruption on his posterior the size of the Texas just, League ruby red. Wait, would you just shut up? Andreas, <laughs> the best thing up, I've ever 
seen in... Shut up. <laughs> no, not Thursday today, right now. <laughs> when will the doctor be in? Ma'am, is there any way that you can reach him? Now, you listen here, my good woman. This particular situation falls under the category of a medical emergency. That's right, I understand that. J.B., I You tell that doctor to ask himself the same question the next time he wants to talk to a police officer. 215 with J.B.'s doctor. Good. Think you can hold off till then? Well, what choice do I have? Come on, let's hit the streets. Expecting a report on myself from Jerry Fuchs this morning. We'll go over it as thoroughly as possible and decide which points need investigation. Is there a problem with something? We heard the DA gave up the suit of the federal captain. You heard correctly. Yeah, well, it's kind of tough getting revved up after something like that. That does not change the fact, J.D., that we have an investigation to conduct. I won't have anything missed just because we weren't willing to go the full yard. What about the safe deposit box? We're picking up the warrant in an hour. You meeting at the bank. You let me know as soon as it's done. Excuse me, Francis. The Stan Mizell file, courtesy of Captain Fuchs. Just in time, Phil. I, uh, took the liberty of perusing it on my way here from the front desk twice, uh... To say it lacks detail is something of an understatement. Call Jerry Fuchs. Right away, Francis. Yeah, file that one under Fuchs covering his rear. Wheels within wheels, J.D. That's out of my league, baby. Hmm. Hey, that's pretty good. Not great yet, but pretty good. Hello, Faye. Oh, hello, Faye. Oh, Faye, uh, I'm just on my way out. Crime, to... Frank. I mean, it's everywhere, like a cancer. Faye. They uh... mug, they murder, they rape. Faye, please. They uh... even burglarize the homes of police captains. 
police captains? We've been robbed, Frank. I was taking Frank Jr. to school. Is he all right? Yeah, he's fine. But they've obviously been casing me. They knew my whole schedule. Oh, my God. What happened? Well, I dropped Frank Jr. off, and then I went to my aerobics class. And when I got home, boom! I mean, the silverware, the television, the stereo. They took the photo albums. I mean, all the way back to our wedding album. I mean, what would they want with something like that? I tell you, when I walked in that door and saw what they'd done, I, I felt so violated. Clay, I know exactly what you mean. When they dismembered my Buick, I felt physically defiled. Phil, uh, would you get me Detective Walsh at mm -hmm. Midtown, please? I'm sorry. I, I hate to bother you no, with this. It's no bother, but you're insured, aren't you? Uh, Detective Walsh, Captain Frillo calling. It's please. not that. It's... You see, they not only took things, they also left something. A small token of their esteem in the living room, on the rug. Oh. I mean, what kind of a demented creature would do something like that? Francis, he's on. Uh, he's... uh yeah, F Captain Farillo. Yeah, for for Detective Walt. Uh, yeah, I don't know, Faye. I'm just glad you and Frank went there to find out. Listen, uh, you go back there, and somebody will be there right away. Uh, Faye, you might try uh, some pine oil and a spot of vinegar. Yeah, yes, on the Captain Perillo. Yeah. Uh, I used to have a cocker spaniel. Yeah, I'm holding. Frank. One more thing. Um, you remember our home movies? You know, the films of you in high school and, uh, the ones of us? The front lines of the urban battleground have grown increasingly ambiguous with the passage of time. We find ourselves in the position of fighting not only crime, but poverty, hunger, injustice, and a host of other social ills. And it was to this pitched battle that Officer Stan Mizell dedicated his life. A warrior to the end, a victim of the war to which each and every one of you has pledged yourself. A staunch link in the last line of defense between a free society and a lawless frontier. Uh, would any of you gentlemen care to do the honors? You can proceed, Mr. LaRue. With pleasure. Oh, Kevin Helmazel. Okay, for starters, one incredibly hefty roll, mint condition, Ben Franklin Special Edition. Must be at least 20,000. Uh, try 40. Whatever you want to say about old Stan, he had initiative. One Saturday night special, generic. Hey, hey. One pair, fur line, double locking handcuffs, definitely not department ordinance. Uh oh, one, two bags, unidentified, powdery white substance. My guess, confectioner's sugar, it ain't. He epitomized that which all of us strive to achieve. Dedication to service, Strength of character, loyalty to his friends and colleagues. But first and foremost, Stan Mizell was a family man, a loving father to his children, a devoted husband to his wife, Abigail. One pair, ladies, underpants, ventilated for comfortable summer wearing. Was he the life of the party or what? 
Our last item. Hey, hey, what collection would be truly complete without a deluxe assortment of incredibly personal photographs? Unbelievable, man. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think I know this girl. Which one? This one? Yeah. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell with the mask. Words seem inadequate at such a time as this. Opportunities for heroism are rare enough in such a world as this. Let oh. us simply remember the actions of a hero and be grateful. Rival team, teach! Hut! Rival team, ready position! Hut! Ready! And... Fire! Ready! You know, I spoke to your wife, or your ex-wife. Uh, we're on to this burglary uh, pod. I appreciate it. And as far as that uh, little calling card they left is concerned, I wouldn't worry about it. You know? Primitive form of disdain. I'm sorry about missing your phone call this morning, but I was uh, hung up. If it was about the Mizell file, I was, I'd like to talk to you into my office if you can get away. Oh, uh, sure. Barillo. Councilman. I just got a fascinating message about a safe deposit box. One that belonged to a recently deceased police hero. You're not going to believe what was in it. For instance? Well, I don't want to spoil it for you. The point is, you backed the wrong horse, bucko. I've got enough to pin cover up on Daniels with or without your help. I am going to bury you and your chief deeper than we just planted that piece of dirt back there. So ask yourself, Frank, was he worth it? Mrs. Mizell? Uh, yes. I'm sorry. I'm uh, Captain Ferrillo Hill Street. I wanted to offer my condolences. Gave the job everything you know. You tried so hard. Yeah. He was an impressive man. <laughs> Do you know what the captain said about Daddy? I hardly saw him in the last few weeks. <laughs> Said it was something big. I mean, you really needed him, didn't you? He was important to you. Certainly was. <laughs> we have to go home now.
find a couple of new cans. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's gonna get you new cans. So stop the air mail. Yeah, right. He's getting you new cans! Man. Joe, did you leave the back door open? Oh, man, there goes another radio. Joe. You're kidding me. How's your tush? Oh, I got a 215 appointment with the knife. Nasty. Mm. Hey, Howard. Henry? Some funeral, huh? Indeed. You, uh, you going somewhere? What are you implying, Henry? Implying? Nothing. It is 11.25 in the morning. Have you ever known me to gold brick on company time? I think not. I'm sorry I asked. Believe me. A man just pays a little extra attention to his grooming after burying the dead. It is a natural response against the inevitable encroachment of decay and entropy. Naturally. Lessons of war cut deep, Henry. Rites of passage. In death, find life. Repent. Ooh, to pee you. No, no line in an ID yet. We're sending a footprint over to county. Oh, what a cute little baby. Get somebody what a cute little baby. Give Thanks. me that little footsie. Excuse me. Give me that little somebody over. And now let's have this one nice and good little fella. Now stand him up here. Here you go. Get the little footsie here. That's a good boy. Now this little footsie. Oh, such a good, good baby. We got such good prints here. Well, look good. at that. It's public entry numero uno. At last the law has caught up with you and stopped your environment life of look crime. Look at this <laughs> little thinker here. I am funky. What a cutie, huh? Hey, white bees are a feature. Come on, hold, hold still, where you Okay, come on, baby, let's have a smile. No leaving on the parents, Lucy. Do I smile, no, baby? No, not yet, Captain. I just can't understand why anybody would want to dump a kid like this. Yeah, especially a quality baby like that. Why don't you just go canvas the neighborhood? Someone may have seen something. Here you go, Lucy. Oh, well, thanks. What are you doing here, Hatbag? Oh, Mick, thank goodness the friendly face. What is it, Alf? Soliciting Mick. Mick, this handsome middle-aged man asked me for a match. I said, how about you and me? What can I say? I'm a hopeless romantic. You get a complaint from the judge? His lawyer's handling it. Let me talk for him. Take him. Come here.
Stand straight, would you please? And don't give me that goofy look. I'm very disappointed in you. Mick, I don't know what to do. I'd like to change. But I... I can't. Come on now. Don't... Don't do that. Eddie. It's very simple. First thing is you gotta find yourself a job. It's not so hard either. All you gotta do is look. Well, I had a job offer just the other day, waiting tables. I told him I'd have to think about it. It's terrific. Where? The dark room. The dark room? That's a flesh pit. The waiters dress up like executioners. I know. It's so butch. Who was with you? Bank official, a couple of attorneys. I. What a mess. Mm -hmm. This is a joke, Jerry. No dates, no names. It's the file. An undercover cop is required to write a complete report of his movements, observations, and contacts every day he's on the job. That's all there is, Frank. Jerry, how could you let him? Don't use that tone of voice with me. This isn't school, and I'm not a damn kid. I had to give Mizell a free reign. In two weeks, he was going to close the biggest... Get off it, Jerry. He wasn't about to close anything. He was an outlaw, and he was running you. God, look at this stuff. Drugs, hypodermic, firearms, pornography, $20,000 in cash. That's the kind of police work he was doing, and it was only a matter of time before he made you pay for it. What are you going to do with it? The file. Take it to Daniels right now. Why? Because it's my job. Frank, I'm caught between two fat cat city legislators who want to be mayor. That's what I'm guilty of. 20 years, Frank. 20 years we've known each other, and you're going to hurt me for that? I wouldn't have done it to you. I wouldn't have let myself get into your situation, Jerry. There you go. Well, Vicky, police officers, hey. ma'am, this is a search and seizure hey. order. We're going to have to ask your patients here to vacate the premises. J.D., you want to get the yeah. files in right. there? Right, A to Z. Mick, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Mick, you're barking up the wrong tree, Mick. This guy is so. clean. His credentials are impeccable. He has got a degree from the University of New Delhi chiropractic. You want right to put a cork in it, Renko? Tell him, J.D. I hope you don't have any stock in this place, Andy. There goes. You want to get some? The pictures over here, please. Hey, by hey. the way, where's your partner? This is a cruel and cold thing you're doing, J.D. Franco, will you give us a hand or stay out of the way? What is the meaning of this? Okay? Huh. What You're is the meaning of this? Dark breath. I got a You can't do this? Hey. What are you hey, doing? Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, hey. whoa, whoa. What is that? Those files. This is a doctor's How office. Are you? I call a lawyer. I'm a doctor in the middle of trouble. Very delicate surgery. And careful. I cannot be being disturbed. Hey, I'm I talking to you. I'm fully. This is very oh, bad. Hey, hey, let's very, go back. very no, bad. No, no, no please don't go back there. You can't go hey, back there. You're right, no, I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. Don't go back there. I'm a friendly. I'm Bobby. Hey, hey, Bobby, my man. Bobby, I did stop doing going that. on here. Bobby, 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 I'm sorry. I did everything well, you possible. Well, you see, this is what I'm trying to Just tell you. Just be quiet. Be quiet. Come here, Mick. 
Now, look, I can guarantee you my partner's not going to last another ten minutes on the street without getting the relief that this alleged perpetrator was about to perform. It's really oh, that, Bob, bad. that bad. You have not met Officer, Officer Nichols, have you? Oh, hey, Marty, God. this is oh, you did this now, I want to get you, J.D. I'll kill you for this. All right, Doc, get it done fast. Thank you. Very nice. Is it asking too much, or could I possibly have a little privacy? Uh, we should not leave a suspect unguarded. That's by the book. Rico, don't just stand there. Do something. Uh, look, we better get some documentation on this, okay? Hey, Bobby, you might be staring a major malpractice. Hey, wait, what are you doing? Hey! <laughs> do? Don't worry, I only shot your good side. Rico! <laughs> Cindy? Yeah, what do you want? Is this your baby? I don't know nothing about a baby. Well, the lady downstairs says she's seen you with him. She's crazy. What is it? What's wrong here? It's nothing, Mama. What's the little whore done now? I didn't do nothing. We're looking for the mother of this abandoned no. child. Hold it! Hold it! I'm gonna kill her! You dumped the baby, you little... Your mother, Listen. you got your mother. No! <laughs> Linda, hmm? may I speak freely? I wish you would. Since meeting you, I've realized that there is a part of my life that has been AWOL for longer than I care to admit. It's time I checked out of the BOQ and went TDY. I long for kitchen detail and the sound of little feet marching. Are you re-enlisting? I want to make an honest woman out of you. I want you to be my wife. <sighs> my darling Howard. I love you so. And it's yes. No. No? Our very old world. And I, I... I just could never marry anyone they disapprove of. Well, how could they disapprove of me? We're of different faiths. Oh. Of course, there is a way. You could convert. Convert? Convert to what? To Judaism, of course. You mean... You mean like that colored singer? Howard! Well, don't get me wrong. I think he's a marvelous entertainer. 
My Zell case. Thank you. I think you'll find Jerry's day notes incomplete. I see. Uh, in fact, uh, you're going to find the entire Mizell file incomplete, so uh, I hope you'll consider Captain Fuchs's conduct in the largest possible context. He's given 19 years of distinguished service. Point taken, Frank. Now, let me ask you for some judgments. If you were Fletcher Daniels, and you were considering this whole situation from that vantage point, tell me what course you'd pursue. If I were Fletcher Daniels, I'd bail out of the deal with drug enforcement. I'd bring Mizell's killer back to the hill, charge him with murder, and give him due process. It'd mean exposing some dirty linen. A department that's substantially clean can stand that. It ought to be able to stand it. Wachtel and Gerber, Wachtel and Gerber, Wachtel and Gerber, all Wachtel and Gerber. Ever been shooting you an awful lot of business here, Doc. Some real interesting cases, too. They got six different people here with the same broken foot. Okay, okay. Two years ago, I come to the country. I'm already a doctor, okay? And uh, I'm looking for a lawyer to help me with my naturalization processes. And you found two of them, right? Mocktail and Gerber. Hey, curry breath. Your immigration status is hanging by a thread here. Talk American. Okay. I'll tell you anything. Just tell me about Wachtel and Gerber. Okay. They're sending me these peoples. I know this is very bad. Because they are not sick. I can tell I am a doctor. No. But they're telling me, no green cards, Panzik, if you are not seeing these peoples. They were blackmailing you, huh? All the time they were blackmailing me. It's very strange because according to your files, you were pulling in 10% of a $15,000 a week turnover. Oh, God, I love this country. I want to be an American doctor. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, after giving my situation considerable thought, I have decided that your original offer of 6000 would just about cover my expenses. How soon can I pick up the check? No, no, no. Mr. Wachtel will not be handling the case, as it turns out. I uh, kind of figured that if you and I got together directly and saved everybody a lot of paperwork and kept my premiums from going into orbit in the bargain, I'd take the six if you get my drift. Yeah, 2,000 even's reasonable. How soon can I get the check? Henry, old sport, uh, I wanted to apologize if I seemed a bit harsh with you earlier. Oh, listen, it was nothing. I was wondering if I could ask you uh, a direct and personal question. Sure. Fire away. What is it like being a Hebrew? Well... I don't know, Howard. What's it like being a human being? Well, it's not a cakewalk, Henry. Don't you want to feed your baby? No. Sure are some tough piece of work. 
Do you ever have a kid? What difference does it make? You never had some baby keep crying on you when you did everything you were supposed to. So you left him out in the street? I put him in a cop car. I knew he'd get took care of. Oh, you knew that, huh? Yeah. Your baby cries so loud he goes. You don't pick him up. You don't hug him. I was gonna hit him! It was gonna be just like my mama did to me. Don't you understand that? to an attorney if you cannot afford an attorney this? one will be appointed keep for your paws off me, anything you, you say cannon will be used against you in a court of law larue hey, larue what's the charge felony fraud grand theft conspiracy to defraud you're a dead man larue well, i hope you got other career plans because i'm hitting you with a civil suit so hard it'll cross your eyes this is false arrest, malicious prosecution, unnecessary force, abuse of office. You don't can it. You're going to be talking out of the side of your neck, dog brain. Nice cufflinks, Alan. Morals charge or just felony bad taste? Come on. Ready to get the signer, Joycey? Do a push-ups on the curb? Comment on any unsubstantiated rumors concerning the activities of Officer Stan Mizell. Except to say, it is the intention of this department, as it has been from the beginning, to pursue every aspect of this investigation with full vigor. We play no favorites when the public trust hangs in the balance. Chief Daniels, it's been suggested that because you're running for mayor against Councilman Detweiler, you um, may not... We're not here to discuss Councilman Detweiler or his affinity for the finer points of political gamesmanship. It's my feeling that my job as mayor... It, I mean, of course, chief of police, is to execute the duties of my office, not to be running for offices I don't currently hold. I have discussed this matter with the district attorney's office, and I can assure you, the suspect in the Mizell homicide is in our custody and will remain so, pending a fair trial. Quite a performance. Adjectives like slick and nimble spring to mind. Councilman Detweiler on line three. Time or not. Here's the vernacular. He's in a bit of a lather. Tell him I'm out for a month. <laughs> he said something about seeing your head on a pike out front of City Hall. Just hang up on him, Phil. Miss Captain. Oh! Miss Davenport, we have your mugging suspect out of holding. Thank you, Sergeant. I'll be there. What's the councilman so upset about? He thinks I stabbed him in the back. Did you? Uh, 
This is Mrs. Morgan Stern. You both are. Hi. Oh, careful. I don't know. <laughs> I'm careful. I want to thank you for the fine job you've done. This must be Cindy. Hi. Cindy, would you go with this officer, please? Bye, Cindy. Bye, Cindy. Well, bye. That's a good argument for birth control, isn't it? Sort of makes you wish you had one of your own, though, doesn't it? Yes, yeah, sometimes. Do you have any uh, candidates in mind for the father? Well, you give me a break, I don't even have a boyfriend. Looking for volunteers? You know, sometimes I think that you don't know anything at all about babies or women or anything. Excuse me, sir. My name is Andrew Renko, and uh, I believe you have a turkey here for me. Oh, yeah, I'll be right with you. I tell you, it is kismet, Bobby. I've got a couple of bottles of Pooley Fusi in my fridge. Yes, sir. And if you and a lady of your choice would like to join me and my Teresa this evening, we will partake of the finest of this city's prize gobblers. Well, here he is, pal. 34 pounds, ain't of you? He's alive. Oh, of course he is. <laughs> You don't freeze a bird like this. I just thought you'd like to take a look at him first. I didn't know anything about this fellow. They just called my name in a raffle. <laughs> this thing is leaking all over the seat. Your boy? <laughs> no, fool, your bird. My bird? Hey, will you just do something about it, Bobby Hill? Just clean up with a towel or something like that. You know, you would think that the guy would have some sense and know how to wrap the damn thing. All I want to do is get that poor carcass home, cook it up, and get it off my conscience. The look in that poor creature's eyes will haunt me until my dying day. Any unit in the vicinity, ambulance traffic, versus pedestrian 96th and Decker. That's us, 2202 responding. <laughs> Directly. Yeah. 
Television people are arriving. Keep them out there for a lot of the shoes taken. He's so drunk he can hardly stand. Brian, I, I want my personal physician to look after this woman. We'll take care of her. I, I'll take full responsibility myself. We can just call a hospital. Frank. I'll make it right. Is this your current address? I just heard. Moment? Sure. Damn it, Frank. You had debt while a peg from the get-go. I should have listened. And seen to it, the poor drunken wretch got eased out to pasture. Would have been for his own good. Oh, and about our meeting earlier. I appreciate the input. We did right bringing the Mizell thing out in the open. We'll get it behind us, and we can spend our time getting this department back on its feet. What's going to happen to Jerry Fuchs? Well, he probably shouldn't be thinking in terms of upward mobility. But he's very secure in his present position. Speaking of which, the commander's test, it's going to be given in a couple of weeks. You were planning on taking it, weren't you? I hadn't given it much thought. I would. It's good to see you on the move again, Frank. What? Uh, the drinking, your personal problems. I admire you putting all that behind you. It shows conviction, it shows potential. I'm going to have to keep my eye on you. Excuse me. Uh, the hospital just phoned Francis. That while his victim? She didn't make it. Tough luck, Arnie. You know, I've been thinking. I could take my 20 years in a few months. Wouldn't be so bad. Play a little golf, go fishing. Jerry, if Daniels gets his wish, he's not going to be chief of police too much longer. I wouldn't give up on the department just yet. I guess stranger things have happened. With some frequency. Francis, uh, Detective Walsh messengered this over. Well, thanks, Walsh. She's not gonna sue. She's a nurse. How many stitches? Well, she had to provoke him then, because Pop would never. What did I tell you about that? I told you that when the time comes, I would take care of that. We agreed that this would be my decision. No, you not go without me. You are stabbing me in the heart with this. All right, I'll take care of it. Just tell me where it is and, and what is it. West Knoll. 
nursing home. What time is the appointment? Don't cry, Ma, please. It'll be okay. I'll call you later. Goodbye. Hi. How you feeling? Oh, I'm feeling just great, thank you. Yeah, well, um... I thought you might like to have these pictures back. And, uh, well, I don't blame you for saying no, but I was hoping you'd let me buy you a drink so I can apologize. No. Uh, you know, I realize that you think your backside is God's gift to mankind, Officer Hill, but it was only a joke. Listen, lady, I was in a lot of pain today. And you embarrassed the hell out of me, so excuse me if I don't think it was so damn funny. You know, I was always told that the guys up here loved the good gang. But I guess you must be one of the ones that can dish it out but can't take it. And maybe I misjudged you. Maybe you did. No. Are you always this unforgiving, Officer Hill? Hold it. Just hold it a second. Look, maybe... Maybe I was a little out of line. Maybe we could talk about it and over that drink. Hey, mate. How's it going? Not great. You dad? We tried some home nurses with my father, and it just didn't. I keep slugging them. I'm going out to look at some nursing homes. Some of those some are. Some of them are very nice, I know. Cheer up, Frillo. None of us is getting any younger. Or better. The guy makes me want to...